All right, so today I'm going to show you in Google SketchUp how to create uh, this table right here. Uh, if you don't have Google SketchUp, it's a free download. Just go to Google and Google SketchUp. <laughs> Anyways, all right, so you got to start with uh, the tabletop. Uh, well, you could start with anything, but I'm going to start with the tabletop. So you start drawing it, and a rectangle, we can see it's 42 by 30, so I'm going to do 30 uh, inches by 42 inches, enter, and that should be the same about right and I know it's uh, three quarters of an inch thick so when I start pulling this up uh, I could do three slash four inches or you could do 0 0.75 that's up to you and that looks about right so if I look at this one though it's got a routered edge right so what I want to do with that is make sure I uh, get a router edge on this one too and I've already measured it and it's um, quarter inch or it's it's at the midpoint so if I just drag my mouse down, right there's the midpoint. I'm going to click in at about a 45 degree angle. And if I zoom in even more, I can just get a slight arc out of it like that. You know, we don't have to be too precise with this because depending on the router bit, it, uh, it's going to be different. Um, you could push this, um, but you want to go all the way around. So what do you use? The follow me tool. And the best way to do that is just to go ahead and click the surface that you want it to follow around. Then grab the follow me tool and click on that little area there and bam it will router the entire underside there so there you go that's how you do that alright and this one is 30 inches off the ground so I am going to make this component at this point though I'm just going to double click on it or triple click make sure it's all selected right click on it go to make component and this will be our top <laughs> alright and hit create or you know I already have one over here called top so I'm going to call this top one alright and there that there it is and so I am going now to raise it, and it's got to go up, the surface has to go up 30 inches. So I'm just going to click on the surface and type in 30 inches, enter, and there it's at the same height now as this other one. Um, or it might be three quarters of an inch higher, no big deal. But there that is, so that looks pretty good. Um, then we'll want to make our legs. Now one thing I want to show is if I go to Window Components, um, this thing pops up, and if I drop this little arrow down and go to components that's all the ones that are available online and wherever else but I'm gonna click on in model this is gonna show all the components that are available okay and right now I have top and top ones the new one I've made and if I ever not wanted another one I could just drag it out and give myself some more tops that's the the beauty of components they can put them in here and keep them all sorted and you can bring them out whenever you need but um, enough of that we'll talk about more of that a little later but if we look at um, this underside of the table you have boards going around the top and then you have the legs. So we got to create this component and this component, which are the same, this one and this one, and then our four legs. Let's look at doing the apron first. The apron is this, this sideboard that comes down. And if we look at it, I'm going to pop his out to see what it looks like. And I'm just going to go ahead and move that out. And you can see that he's got these um, joints. All right, that keeps us the table nice and sturdy. So we want to make sure we do the same, right? I already have the measurements in my head, so I'm just going to go ahead and start making it. Um, but that's something you'd want to do is you want to make sure you measure all those. All right, so I'm going to start with the, this apron, and I know it's it's going to be it's 22.5 inches wide, um, and it's going to be uh, three quarters of an inch thick, or you can type in 0.75 if you'd like to do it that way, of an inch, and there that is. So then I'm going to pop this up three inches. And then for the apron, or for the joints, that's that's a little more tricky. Um, we're going to keep it really simple. I'm just going to use the offset tool here. And I'm going to go in uh, 0.25. And there we go. And to be honest, actually his doesn't go all the way this high. He only has a 2-inch uh, joint. So if I measure this, I can actually see that's 2.5 inch. So here's a little trick. I can just grab my move tool. And as long as I click on the line and then start moving it down. As long as I'm on the blue axis, I can just, you know, basically move while I'm moving it down, I can type 0.5 and it'll move it down like that. Or I could have, you know, individually have uh, measured it out, but that's a lot quicker. And I could do the same to the other side. Um, or what I can do is I can just show you is I'm going to pop this out now one inch. Oop. I don't know if I actually typed in the right dimension. One inch. There we go. And if I wanted to, I could, you know, only select this portion of it and I could copy and paste to their side 
So let's go over there and do that. So I just copied that. And I want to make sure I only select part of it. And I could paste it. See, when you paste, though, it doesn't, you know, it's, I don't know exactly where I need this. What I'd want to do before I paste it is, you know, I could measure up and over a quarter inch in each direction. You know, 0.25, enter, and then zoom into that point right there. Go in 0.25, and you can kind of see I'm not really saving much time. And then when I paste it, I can make sure I can join it right to that spot. All right, and then that would be the same as well. So whatever is faster for you, uh, you can do it either way. Um, but now that this is an apron um, and it's the same on both sides, so I want to triple click, select it, triple click at it, and do make component. And this one's I'm going to call this apron um, short because it's a short side. And one thing you could try, think about doing is click on horizontal. It always makes sure it's up and down instead of, because sometimes you have a problem placing it, it'll lay it flat. So click, do horizontal, do create, and there's that. So great. Um, let's go ahead and act like we're already putting our table together, which is great. If you were in shop, you know, you could already start doing this. Um, so I'm going to go on the green axis. When you tap control, it's going to create a second one. And I'm just going to kind of lay it over here for now. All right. Our other, and what I could do is I could just do the same process for these longer aprons, these side side rails, um, or what I can do is this. Um, you can do the same if you'd like. I can um, copy and paste that one, sure. And I'm going to go ahead and rotate it already too. I'm just going to click once, click again, rotate. I can even type in 90, hit enter, and there's that. Now it's not the right size though for the side apron, right? But what I can do is. Just I can move it back some. Is I could stretch it, but what's wrong with that? Well, it's going to stretch all of it, and I only need the center to get larger, and not the ends. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click on this and do Make Unique or Explode. Let's go ahead and do Explode instead. That way, it's no longer component. See, if I click on these, they have the green, yellow, blue boxes around them there. So if I make changes to one of them, it'll happen to the other one. All right. But this is exploded. This is a unique little item. And so uh, I'm going to edit this one and then make it a component. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, uh, geez, I'm going to just go ahead and highlight like this, right to left. That selects everything but this edge over here. And I'm just going to hit um, delete. No, you know what? Well, I can do it that way. I could delete that and then just pull this across the distance I need. Or I could also um, just go in here and delete the center. And what I can do there then is I'm going to take this edge. I'm just going to move it for a minute, just move it away, move it up, sure. And I know the other side is supposed to be 34 and a half inches. So if I, let's say I'm going to draw this way. Now, I could pull this 34 inches, 34 and a half inches across, or I could draw the lines over. I'm just going to go ahead and pull it. So I'm going to type in 34.5, hit enter. And now I can go back and triple select this item. And I'm going to move it. So I'm going to grab my little move tool, grab the bottom corner of it. You want to move around. This is kind of tricky, but grab the bottom corner of it and line it up with this corner. Ooh, see how it's like trying to come closer to the camera. So I'm going to set it there and then kind of bring it down. And if I look at this, see, it's not really, it's kind of on the wrong plane. So sometimes you got to play with it, but I'm trying to get it so it's lining up with that one. There we go. Um, and again, I don't know if that was any quicker. I'm just trying to show you different ways you could do things. All right, so I'm going to triple select that, right click, make component, and I'll call this apron long. And I will do again horizontal create. All right, so that's looking pretty good. And I can kind of place in general where it would be at. It'd be somewhere in here. And I would need a second one. So I'm going to use my move tool again. And as I start moving it, just tap control, and I can make another one over here. All right, now what are we missing? We have the top, we have the sides, and now we need the legs. So let's look at these legs. Um, you know what I can do too is I can just grab one of these. On second thought, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a second video. So if you'd like to see how to make the legs and assemble it, just click on video two or click to the next.